one is entitled uh, Desirable Price. Desirable Price. Within that, I'm going to talk about the psychology of soldiers during conflict, military conflict, uh, but also what it means for us to have a desirable price. Uh, and so what is a price? I'm going to explain what a price means. So there is price, which is the unpleasant process that we must go through or experience before we get something important or valuable that is difficult to achieve. So the price is the process. Now the price is something valuable that we receive, such as an amount of money or medal that is given to us when we succeed in a competition or a game. War is tough. Not only is it tough physically, but it is also tough mentally and emotionally. Many times when soldiers are facing the constant threat of death and seeing their comrades die, this gives way to emotional and mental breakdown which causes them to give up or not seem to be able to fight for survival. During basic training, soldiers are encouraged to have a sweetheart, a loved one. If they, if they are not already, they are encouraged to fall in love. And while I was in basic training, uh, we were asked to put photos of our wives and girlfriends and uh, and loved ones, those who were not married, their parents. And that photo there was to remind you of what you are to fight for. Because soon after passing out, graduation, you may end up in conflict uh, in our modern day, I'll say Ukraine and Russia, or still Iraq and Afghanistan, and some parts of the Gulf. Now, over the years, military officers and leaders have realized that when those in the front line of a battle have something tangible to fight for, they are more likely to continue when the battle turns vicious. So when we are in our trenches with our rifles and we are being bombarded by rounds, and when I talk about rounds, I mean bullets, live bullets flying around your head. Sometimes the idea of fighting for gold and country is not sufficient. But the idea of having a loved one, a sweetheart, will help you to be able to fight on. So to run with determination and persevere to the end, you must have something that you're fighting for in life. With no prize to fight for, life becomes very difficult. Life, like war, is tough sometimes. The only thing that sustains you through the tough times is the prize that you see at the end of the race. Jesus had a prize. He had a prize in mind when he was being beaten, being mocked, and being dragged on the ground, heading to the cross for crucifixion. We are told in Hebrews chapter 12, he says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down on the right hand of God the Father. Now, when Jesus was facing death on the cross, he knew there was a price worth dying for. And that price is you and me. Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians, he says, I have not seen, nor ear have heard, nor has it entered the heart of man, what things God has prepared for those who love them. This is a reminder that God has a price for us as we journey through the difficulty of life. The Old Testament prophets had the price, desirable price, they were fighting for. The apostles had a price. The early church had a price. All these prices are in common. It is the reason why we are here today. 
a prophet had the price because they want to call to mind the Israelites, their first love with God. The apostles wanted to preserve the gospel they have heard from Jesus and to pass it on to us. And the early church did the same. Now, to be successful in life, in the journey of life, one must have a price, and that price must be worth fighting for. To persevere in fighting for your price, the price must be valuable and it must excite you. For you to continue when the going gets tough, your price must be valuable. If the price set before you is not valuable, then you run the risk of quitting in the face of adversity. So my question to you today is this. As we remember those who have fought for us, for the protection of this nation, and for your protection and for my protection, what are you fighting for? A better life for your children? The security of your loved ones? To have a successful career? To have a financial freedom? Or to see people come to faith? Whatever it is you're fighting for, you must attach great value to it. For the young people among us, what is your price? To be able to grow and become a good citizen of the nation? Then you need to focus on your studies, your exams, your courses, your degrees, whatever it is, that must be valuable. Your price must also be excited. So whatever it is you're fighting for in life, that price must excite you. So now, what is my price now? What is my desirable price for me? It is to see this church grow, to see people come to faith, to have a thriving community here at St. James, for this church to be a prophetic voice in this place and for the generation to come. These are my desirable price. As we remember those who have died before us, and it includes those in conflict and our family members who died. They had a price. What is your price today? And I want you to think about that. That price must be valuable and it must excite you. What is it for you? What is that price? Especially the young ones. What is the price for you? Is it playing games? Spending too much time on mobile phones? Or is it focusing on your study to become the person that God has called you to be? So think about your desirable price today. Pray for God to give you wisdom, to attach value to that price. And let that price excite you. Amen. Amen.